if you look at it from this angle you can see how it's really digging in deep there where this side is still pretty thick and that's how we're going to get that hollow ground edge see that little there it is see that little flake I took off how it kind of create a twisted or a dimpled area right there that's my platform and we always push straight in we're not going at an angle we're not trying to hold this any way special we're simply putting pressure straight in and down and the flake will curve on its own if it's done right somewhere now. That's Z Flake Dalton right there. See that edge? Almost identical. See that little piece hanging in there? Right there. That's part of the flake that was tearing out, and as it crumbled apart, it got hung up. There it goes. That shows you how the flake's actually tearing out of here. Again, there's that little platform right there. That's that's the key thing to this uh, flaking technology is that reversed platform, hollow ground or dimpled, however you want to classify it. And you can do it with antler, but you're not going to get it like that unless you use copper. And that's why I believe copper was used for making this point in particular. I tried it with antler and flake scar is a little bit wider and a lot harder to control. This is very precise. Now when I'm using this copper tool, it's creating a bulb of pressure, whereas the antler doesn't necessarily create a bulb of pressure. It more or less just peels away the flake and leaves a bigger bulb. So this is really the only way you can replicate this technique is with a copper tip. That's not good. Went into a concavity there and looks like it's going to stack a hinge on me. It's the last thing I need.
So what happened right here, I took a good flake off, create a hinge, so I had to take two or three more into that hinge area before I could finally get one past it, which went long, and then took another one off next to it, which came off clean and got me back on track. That happens sometimes, unfortunately. Either work around it or throw in the towel or do something stupid, which makes it even worse. In this case, I just took what I could get. Pretty good one. And another one. Back on track. Ain't over till it's over. You lower your guard on one of these and that could be the make it or break it point. Some of those are pretty scary, especially right on the last set, right toward the tip when you have to put a lot of pressure on there to really dig in deep. And you're doing it off of a good heavy platform, it is possible to break off the whole tip. If you look, kind of see how we're, we're still pretty uh, beefy right here, and then it drops down into that nice hollow ground edge.